the Joe Rogan experience. When do you think the people should be able to like talk again? The pe- the deep oh, person. Oh yeah, 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 that's a good pr- that's a good question. Um, well, Alex Jones at least has Infowars.com. He could do yeah, his own thing, own. and people go to that. And Gavin's got a show still. Does he? Yeah. Is he still on YouTube? Or did they kick him off of YouTube? I don't know if he's still on YouTube. Because they they kicked him off a lot of things mm-hmm. a little while ago, and it didn't seem like there was a clear reason. It's mm. like they just decided they were, like, yeah. they were gonna get rid of him. Interesting. You, you know what I'm saying? Like he had been on, he had some scandals, but he had stayed on YouTube, right? And basically followed the rules, right? So what happened? Oh, is is he still on there? He's definitely still on. Oh, okay. okay. So he's still on. Okay. So he, that's interesting too, right? And then I think he they just, have their own thing, and if you go on Telegraph, they're all there, they're all hanging what's Telegraph? out. Telegraph. It's like the where it's like. Uh, micro blogging service and I think Milo's there and Gavin's there and it's a little bit like Twitter but it's kind of like for the band and for people who for the miss yeah I saw him. he was he was on one of those things Gab or something like that talking about Milo was complaining uh, about uh, the actual numbers he reaches now how unsustainable it is uh, mm. obviously there's a lot of people that like him and there's look he's a funny guy he says funny <laughs> shit he really does. And I don't I don't think he's been accurately portrayed. I don't. I mean, I think he definitely said some stupid shit, but that's part of the fun of what he was doing. He's a provocateur, mm. you know, and he was definitely doing some stuff that there's like there's a question of whether or not there was multiple accounts that they were using that he was using to yeah. you know, anonymous accounts. That's that was an accusation, but Twitter didn't want to substantiate that when I talked to them about it because I think they're worried about the r- legal ramifications. We addressed that. Yeah, it's it's problematic because you end up, you know, as someone who's kind of for, all for free speech, I often get told that I'm bad because I and I have to defend people whose language I don't agree with. That is what free speech is it's not defending everyone who says things that i love it doesn't make any sense because that means you're right all the time like if you're only defending the things that you believe in yeah you you write all the time about everything but i have to defend the people who say things that are even atrocious and that i can't i would never get on board with because in that's what free speech is otherwise and like you said, it is that slippery slope of who gets to be the arbiter of what is said. Right. And what are your what are your guidelines? And I, when I'm saying this about letting people do it, like, or arguing against ideas that you don't agree with, like, you should be able to or not to. You should be able to express yourself and respond to the criticisms that you receive or, or choose not to. Yeah. But the idea that only my ideas should get broadcast because your ideas are contrary to my ideas. I'm going to cut off the pipeline for you to express those and work those out. And look, there's a lot of people that had some terrible ideas early in their life and then they changed. Yeah, yeah. There's that, um, there's that guy, um, what's his name, Christian Piccolini, who was in the KKK? He was in, or was in some sort of white supremacist organization when he was young, and now he talks about the dangers of these organizations. It's like, like me being people, AOC when I was young. Exactly. Well, people change. <laughs> no, they you change. do. And you have to be able to, if there's no path to redemption, right. what is the point? Right. So what you is the path to redemption? You leave people with noth- nothing. And, and hopelessness is the worst. So if you're taking everything away from somebody and then you're saying you're, you're in the bad place now forever, yeah. um, what is their incentive to even open their mind and have a different, why not just double down? Let's give a recent example. Here's a recent example, a good one. Um, London Real. London Real had interview with David Icke. I don't know who any of these people are. Okay, London <laughs> Real is a, po- a popular YouTube show. Okay. And they had an interview with David Icke. David Icke is a conspiracy theorist who thinks that the elites turn into lizards. He says he's okay. seen their eyes shift. Okay. Sh- this is, he talked about it on this podcast. Seen their eyes shift. Yes, I've seen their eyes shift. Okay, right there you should be like, okay. <laughs> this is fun. This is fun time. This guy thinks that the fucking the queen's a lizard lady. Right. But you want to look out for people that are so fucking dumb <laughs> that they're like, oh, did you hear about the lizard people? Yeah, they're real, But man. there's a lot Been of confirmed. those people. Hey, hey, hey. So what? Right. So what? I, so I any, agree. This is evolution here. We're stopping, <laughs> the, we're stopping the flow of evolution. Because if, if, look, this is how I feel about televangelists, right? If you're so dumb 
You want to give Joel Olstein all your money, even though you're poor, because you think that somehow or another this is going to save you, mm-hmm. and God's grace is going to be upon you because you you tithe all your money to Joel Olstein. And he drives around to Bentley, and you're happy for him. Yeah. Okay, that's that's legal. Yeah. And it's dumb as fuck, but it doesn't work on you. It works on only the dumbest of dumb people. <laughs> and so they're like, oh, I guess it's okay. This so, is the same thing. Yeah. This is the same thing. If you're so fucking dumb, you really believe that David Icke's seen people's eyeballs shift over and that there's lizards that are secretly transforming into politicians and then going back to lizards when no one's looking. Come on. Yeah. Come on. So if you take that guy off... You just make them bigger. So yeah. the, there's a giant story yeah. that this David Icke podcast was removed from YouTube. Oh. And it keeps getting removed. People keep uh, uploading it. It's like that pandemic documentary that everybody keeps sending me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It gets removed and then people upload it everywhere. We get uploaded everywhere. They're trying to hide the truth. Just leave it alone it and makes let people it seem criticize real. it. It makes it seem way more real. <laughs> yeah, it makes it seem real. Nobody would have gave a fuck about that David Icke interview. I mean, it would because it's on London Real and it's a popular program. So some people would have watched it. But nobody would have really thought that the fucking lizard people are there. Nobody would. And the people that do think that, they're going to think anything. You could talk them into cutting their balls off and riding the fucking comic. And with joining your the cult. The hail people and joining my cult. <laughs> You, but the thing is, like, you gotta let that exist. Yeah. You gotta let these. Wha- but they will with some shit. They will with the flat Earth people. Yeah, it's weird. Maybe the flat it's... Earth shit is still up. Oh, I know, I know. But they get to the five G and they're like, nope, too much, too, too much. Real. So David Icke was talking about five G. Uh, from what I said, I don't even what what I read rather. I don't even because I didn't watch the whole thing. But I don't even think he was saying that five G causes it. But he was doing some wa- he was doing some wacky, we live very in, like, the weirdest articulate fucking conspiracy times. shit. Yeah. yeah, we live in just weird, weird. Yeah, it's only getting weirder. But here's what's interesting. Okay, this is what we need to accept about people like David Icke and a lot of these people. There is clearly a lot of entertainment value in someone saying preposterous shit that any intelligent person knows is not true. There's some weird entertainment value in someone that really does believe that aliens live amongst us and that they're shapeshifters and that if you look back, all of our leaders have all been you related together in their regard of one gene pool that the ancient Sumerians brought together. They came here from planet Nibiru and there's, there's something I mean, really entertaining about Scientology. that. Scientology. Not just Scientology. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of those. A lot of it. Right? So people watch my YouTube show. Right. <laughs> That's not the same. That's fun. No, I know, but but you know I what mean, I'm saying? Like, there's a there, this is an it's kind of an art form. Mm, this is what I'm thinking. It's, it's performance an art. art. It is a kind of performance art, along with like a little bit of horse shit. And some people. Who is that crazy stand-up guy, um, Andy Kaufman? Yes. It's like everyone's Let become me Andy Kaufman. Right. Alex Jones is funnier than Andy Kaufman's ever been. Alex Jones is fucking hilarious often. Did you see often. the whole Bill Hick, that he's Bill Hicks? Yeah. No, no. Conspiracy? That's not real. I went down that, that rabbit hole. So, that's the silliest shit ever. I know, but there are videos. But he had a, one thing <laughs> we're talking about, like if uh, it's between his family starving or eating his neighbor. He, oh, he's I like, know. I'll eat your ass. I and thought... so it became this giant, come on. Do you don't think there's an entertainment value in him saying he's going to eat my his neighbor? Fire. Right. <laughs> But there's something to that, like to to stop that and ban that. You're you're not you're not stopping anyone from you not you're not stopping anybody from anything bad by not having Alex do this entertaining thing about eating his neighbor. You're not saving anybody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta you, you gotta like what are you doing? Like what is he doing that's so awful? I don't know how to fix any of it. This, it's inter- it's entertaining. Like, why is it only acceptable if you have some kind of entertainment? Because there's so many rap videos that you could watch that I enjoy, but they're talking about shooting people and robbing people, and it's everywhere on YouTube. Yeah. It's so prevalent. Yeah. And somehow or another, that's okay. Like, it's fucking weird what's allowed and what's not allowed. <laughs>